Hey Claiborne, last week I talked about Lost Legos, which you've never done. Impressive. And as you mentioned, last week was also my birthday, and I got these two amazing Lego sets. First, I got the Lego City Starter Set, and also I got the Half Track Mission. So I thought this week I would just put them together and let you know what I thought. I'm going to start with the Starter Set, because it's smaller and hopefully it won't take that long. A few weeks ago I put together the Demolition Starter Set, and this week I'm putting together the Jungle Starter Set. And every time I put one of these together, I'm just more and more convinced that these are really great sets to buy. It seems like they all kind of follow the same pattern. They come with a vehicle, and a piece of scenery, or a toilet, and three minifigures. And this one also comes with this amazing alligator. Clayburn, I'm not sure if you had an alligator when we were kids, and I think I've brought this up often enough that maybe I just want to spend some time on it in the future. But when we were growing up, it was a really bad time to be a LEGO fan because the sets just didn't have that much quality. And this alligator is a great example because of how much better than the alligators that were there when we were kids. Steph likes him because he's cute, because he's fat, but I like him because he's got a really great movable mouth and the, the tail is just so much better assembled than the ones that we used to have. The other really cool thing in this set is the machete, which I think this is the first LEGO set to come with a machete. It's really cool in this set because, you know, it's the jungle and they'll need it to cut vines, but it's also a really great piece for when you're wanting to do your Nacho Libre mocks. The set also comes with a pontoon boat and a um, tree, I think. The real win here is the yellow frog and the green snake that'll be eating it soon. Oh yeah, but the tree also has a little secret compartment for gold, which maybe tells us why Lego City is going to the jungle. It's not for dinosaurs this time. Clever and I also got the Half Track mission for my birthday, which I'm going to put together. But before I do, I wanted to point out that the Half Track mission also comes with the girl and the boy explorer, but it seems to be missing the scientist, which I suspect got eaten by the alligator. So I'm about to put it all together, Claiborne, but I did just find out and I thought I'd let you know that this set does have stickers because I know how much you love them. Clever and I finished the first part, which it comes with the awesome four-wheeler and the girl and the fire, but the real winner here is the um, Jaguar that came with it, which makes me really hope they also make a tiger, because this is a pretty awesome mold. Hey Claiborne, I thought I'd learned my lesson from the last time I put together a truck, but this one also took a pretty long time. Nevertheless, it is pretty cool. I especially like the fact that, oh, uh, I'll get back to that, uh, that it's got these half tracks. The, the lid is the lid. The roof is a little flimsy to uh, put on and off, um, a little bit hard, but other than that, uh, very cool. I do like the consistency that LEGO's provided with the jungle sets that I have. I have the Explorer guy again, looking a little bit rougher around the edges, what with the beard and a little bit of cuts and bruises, which makes me think he's probably not Crocodile Dundee because he does have the machete, but he doesn't look like he's shaving at all. Well, Claiborne, this is the ruin that came with the Half Track mission, and it was a little more complicated to put together than I thought. There are a lot of small pieces, but it did turn out looking pretty cool, and also, it's got this. Oh, that didn't work so well. And by the way, this spider is super detailed. Like the jungle sets. There's a lot to explore with them. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'll talk to you next week. Over and out. 